The Bank of Korea says it has expected the U.S. rate hike and raised Korea's own interest rate last month in anticipation of the Fed's move. Here's Arirang's Kim ji yeon with more on how the latest decision by the Federal Reserve might impact the Korean economy. Authorities at the Bank of Korea say there were no immediate signs of capital flight from the country since the move by the U.S. Federal Reserve has been widely expected. The BOK also pointed to Korea's strong fundamentals, with the economy forecast to grow 3 percent this year on booming exports. But it says further tapering of U.S. assets could impact Korea's interest rates in the long term. To counter such risks, the BOK has already raised its benchmark interest rate by a quarter percent to 1.5 percent last month, its first rate hike in nearly seven years. Although the move has been expected, it has raised concerns that the rate hike would increase the burden of the 1.3 trillion U.S. dollar household debt, since it would severely affect homeowners' ability to repay their debts and raise the risk of people defaulting on their housing loans. The BOK played down the possibility of the worsening household debt issue, saying the government is laying out countermeasures. This refers to a series of measures earlier this year to curb housing speculation by making it harder for people with multiple houses to borrow money to buy real estate. We believe the burden on households of repaying extra interest due to a rate hike is limited in general when taking into account the debt service ratio. While the BOK dismissed the possibility that a rate gap is the sole reason for capital flight, it says such a decision will be made only after taking into account various factors, including the recovery pace of the local economy, inflation prices, financial stability, and risks, shaking off market expectations that it'll raise rates in February or in July next year when the new BOK governor is announced. Since it raised the main interest rate in November, it won't be easy for the BOK to raise rates again during the first half of next year. It will only do that when it's confident the local economy can withstand the effects of a rate hike. BOK Governor Yi Jiyer said he does not interpret the move by the Fed as a sign of preferring aggressive fiscal measures, despite the Fed's decision to raise its growth trajectory for the U.S. economy. It has previously projected the Fed would raise rates up to three times next year. Kim Jian, Arirang News.